right? We're understanding all of these lawsuits. We're understanding as sovereigns how we're supposed to respond and behave. Now, I need to get into this last thing and when we're dealing with conflicts between each other. So I just told you about the situation where these companies, they're suing you. All right, now let's get into conflicts between each other. Now, when you have a conflict with someone, as an adult, as a sovereign, what we do is we communicate our issues with the people who we're dealing with. We communicate that, all right? You send them a notice. We like to put things in writing and you communicate and you let them know, hey, I have this issue. And what we're supposed to do as sovereigns is handle that in the private first. There's another biblical documentation that I want to tell you about. And it's really, it's in Matthew 18. And what is that talking about? What that deals with is when you have a problem with someone, and this is Matthew 18, when you have a problem with someone, you go to that person and you tell them in private. All right. And you tell them twice. I need y'all to write this down. It's called the administrative process. In the administrative process, this Matthew 18 really is talking about the administrative process. When there is an issue, you go to that person in private and you tell them what the issue is. And if they don't hear you, you tell them again. That's what be called a notice of fault. Like I told you the first time I got a problem and I'm telling you again, I got a problem. That's a notice of fault. And then you have a notice of default. Then you take them into court. That's what this Matthew was talking about. Matthew 18, the administrative process for those of you all who are aware of and familiar with the administrative process. That's Matthew 18 is talking about that. And so I say, I talk about the Bible because again, it is a law book. It's telling you how to deal with these situations. And if you use it, and you take it into a court of law, it has to be respected. Matthew 18 is one of those verses that I'll use if I'm in a court of law because it is the administrative process, all right? And basically what it's saying is, again, if you've told this person twice that there's an issue, then you take them into public court and you deal with them in public court because they decided they didn't want to listen to you. And then this Matthew 18, it talks about where there are two or more in agreement in my name, then there I am. So this is why you have this whole deal where if you get two people, two or more people to come together, that is a court of law. That two or more people coming together in agreement, that is considered a court of law. And two or more people can take a judge down, can remove a judge. So two or more people in the right standing, especially when they know how to stand as sovereign, yeah, you can take a judge down. Not that a judge is all that powerful, but you can take them down legally, all right? So with all of that being said, I'm throwing that out there to help you understand that even when you're talking about from a biblical perspective, this thing is telling you how to work the administrative process. Okay, so if you have gone to this person and you've tried to communicate with them and they don't stand in honor or they're not communicating, then you take them into public court. And then this is when you get what I call the army or the sheriff. You can get the sheriff on your side to help you affect certain things. All right. So now again, I just want to reiterate this. If you are mature and you are adult or sovereign, you're acting as a sovereign, then you resolve these issues before they get to court. All right. Because one of the things with us, we are always wanting to agree. Listen, there's an issue. Let's resolve it outside of court because once you get them involved, well, then now you are acting like a child. So we prefer not to have them in our situation. Why? Because we don't deal with government because we are sovereigns. As sovereigns, we act like adults and we don't have to get a quote unquote government in our business. I hope y'all understanding trust 
and acting like sovereigns is how we walk in this place. Because I get people telling me, all asking me all the time, well, does that mean we're sovereign? Are we sovereign yet? Well, if you got to ask me if you're sovereign, then that's no. But sovereign is not just paperwork. Sovereign is how you conduct yourself. And if you are somebody who does not know how to communicate, if you do not know how to contract, if you do not have control of your vessel, meaning where, you know, especially in a relationship and you're getting in a relationship and you all have not established what the rules of this relationship are, you're not acting like a sovereign or an adult at all.